We have Banlal Puya from the Delhi Gladiators taking on the captain Neeraj Goyat from the Haryana Warriors. And for the introduction, we go to Jared Carl inside the cage. This is going to be a great fight, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned as we just go underway to Jared Carl inside the ring. We go inside the ring with Jared Carl for the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Please welcome to the Ring one love Puya After that electric bout in for the first fight in the featherweight division, we move on to the welterweight division. Representing the Delhi Gladiators is Ran Lao Puya making his pro debut here tonight on what is the biggest stage right now that is the super boxing league he's got a chance of a lifetime he's making history right now never before has something like this ever been done i've seen this guy in, in the training camps i've seen this guy sparring backstage he is fast believe me do not blink well this big weight category is a fast one so he better be fast Making his way to the ring, Neeraj Goyat! Introducing the captain of the Haryana Warriors team, Neeraj Goyat, a highly decorated boxer, made it to the WBC World Rankings and even went all the way for a 12 round fight and won it. He's actually one of the better known Indian boxers. Got a lot of fights under his belt, a lot of experience. I think he's the favorite coming into this one. In 2008, he won the title of one of the most promising boxers in India. A bright future for this kid and very, very young. Comes in with an eight, two and two record and I cannot wait for this one to start. Here we go to the tail of the tape. Neeraj Goyat from the Warriors taking on Van Lal Puya for the Delhi Gladiators. Van, slightly the younger by five years. Both fighters weighed in approximately the same height and weight. Slight reach advantage to Van Lal Puya, but the experience lies in the corner of the captain of the Haryana Warriors. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, he weighed in at 65 kilograms, representing the Delhi Gladiators, it's Vanla Puya! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 66 kilograms, representing the Haryana Warriors. Give it up for Neeraj Goyat! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as the action begins, the referee for the fight, Bridge Mohan. Fighters touch gloves. Here we go. I'm really excited for this one. The captain of the Warriors, the Haryana Warriors, Neeraj Goyat. Highly decorated boxers, but you can see the fans and audience still love the Delhi team. Hometown favorites, you know. Delhi's here to support. 
say what you want, but the debutant Van Laal Pereira has a lot on his plate tonight. He's taking on a very experienced boxer. No doubt, Neeraj is definitely the more experienced boxer. I'm very excited to see him in action. First time I'm watching him live. So, people at home tuning in, this is going to be a good fight. Well, you know, that's the beauty of the fight business. Anything can happen in a split second. One punch can change the outcome of the entire fight. Arjun, I don't think you need to tell me that. I think I know that very well. Thank you very much. Here we go as we get ready. Final instructions. The referee inside the ring. As we get set for bout number two in the welterweight division. Here we go. Round number one. Goyat in the green. Van Lai Puya in the blue and red. Both fighters taking their time, being very patient. They look very technical. Gauging their distance, timing. See how fast he would snap that jab and got out of the way. And that big hook that Van tried to throw there a second ago. Yeah, that's great head movement, great footwork. Beautiful punch by the captain. Oh, big counter left. You know, you know they say to keep your hands up all the time, but I don't <laughs> think that works for Neeraj. He's got his hands right down by his hips, by his waist, taunting. Val almost. Trying to baiting him in. Lull him, lull him into a sense of security. But good head movement there. He rated that by just a micro millimeter. Yeah, he's timing his he's timing his movement perfectly. It's almost like he's in the matrix. We had so far, more patient of the two. Van coming in here. N nice shoulder roll. Nice shoulder roll. Slipped that punch perfectly. <laughs> yes, they're taunting his opponent there. Nice. He's a very flamboyant fighter. He's a great person as well. Speak to him. Speak to him on a bunch of occasions. He's very funny. And not only that, he's a very, he takes his craft very seriously. I mean, that's what you need in a fighter. You need an entertainer as well. Someone who puts on a show, makes the fights entertaining, makes them fun, causes some commotion. He snuck that jab in on the second attempt. Did Neeraj again there, double jab. Van looking a little flustered here. You can see he's backing up. He's being very tentative. Yeah, he's almost scared to throw a punch because Neeraj's head movement is so good. Nice shot there. Van trying to hold his own, trying to move. Circle, but this can certainly be uh, overwhelming for a, a kid making his debut. Yeah, you can see this fight. These guys are being a little bit more technical, more cautious, taking their time, conserving their energy. Neeraj stalking his opponent, trying to back him into a corner. Yeah, Neeraj has got great head movement. Beautiful in and out movement there by Goyat. He steps in. Yeah, he's timing the oh, step perfectly. Oh, shot there! They have landed clean there, one, two. And drop the van to stay in the pocket there like that. Yeah, yeah, no, he's slipping the punches perfectly and countering amazingly. And when he's countering, he's throwing them in combinations, not just one punch. He's a lot more technical than his opponent as well. Oh, look at that, one arm behind the back. Yeah, he's being, he's being really showboarding right now, putting a lot of intimidation on Val. I don't think Val can handle this. Beautiful combination that he might have hurt him there a second ago. Man certainly is backpedaling here. Oh, look at that. As we go into round number two. That was a lot of showboarding, but there was a lot of skill on display as well. No, definitely a lot of skill there. To showboard like that and get away with it shows a lot of skill and confidence. Look at that. Cleanly evaded it, landed and countered at will. That's the shoulder roll I was talking about. A great shoulder roll, great health movement. Look at that, beautifully done. Goes over, comes back with a counter two of his own. This round was more Neeraj evading and baiting him in more than encountering. He landed a couple of clean ones. He's definitely, Van has certainly got his work cut out for him. Three more rounds. Yeah, you can see Neeraj has got great, great head movement and footwork. It's almost like he's reading Van at will. Everything Van throws, he slips perfectly in counters. Here we go as you get ready for round number two. Both fighters seem in great shape. No problem with their conditioning so far. 
Yes, and they're also fighting very efficiently. They're not throwing wild punches for no reason. Yeah, they the see opening. Was crazy, though. They see opening and they go for it. They're more technical. If you're just joining us, we have Neeraj Goyal, the captain of the Haryana Warriors, taking on Balnal Puya from the Delhi Gladiators, who certainly got his work cut out for him. But you know what? This is where, this is where the sport gets interesting. This league format gets interesting because Delhi won the first fight. They're up by three points. They got that decision. And now it's up to Neeraj Goyal to either equalize or surpass them. Well, I think Neeraj is just going to keep doing what he's doing, take his time, stay on the outside, utilize that footwork, utilize that head movement, and keep throwing those counter punches, tire out Val, make Val work, use his energy, yeah, and then come back. He's rolling. rolling these punches beautifully, even though his back was against the ropes. Just shows that experience difference there. You can definitely see their skill apart. But still, lots of props to Val. No, Val is in, in there for sure. He's a gamer. He's he might be he might be overwhelmed and slightly intimidated, but he's not going anywhere. And that's the true heart of a champion. You just stay in the fight and keep fighting and just hit harder, like the super boxing model is. You know, just keep hitting harder. Never back down. Never give up. You know, we tend to see this in fighting when we have two fighters who are significantly different in experience and skill. And I would say Neeraj has proved this point. He's showboarding. But if he has the ability to be better and finish it, he should be looking for that finish and look for the big six points or the five point TKO that he can get. Sorry, excuse me, four point TKO that he can get. I think he's taking his time and working on the head movement and working on his timing. When he gets in his rhythm, I think he definitely will take up the notch to another gear. And we, I, I do see a TKO coming. I think I can see that coming with his movement right now. Neeraj certainly taking his time, staying a little more active, but Banlal Puya here has the center of the ring. He's pressing the action and Miraj is just happy looking to counter and roll. Yeah, I mean, he is pushing the action, but he's not hitting anything. So it really doesn't say much. He could be pushing the action, but if you're not hitting or scoring points, it really makes no difference. Puya certainly taking his time. 40 seconds remaining in round number two. And you can see Van senses the urgency. He's certainly trying to come forward, of course. Good shot there, good combination by Van there. Well, he's doing well, he's staying in there. And if Goyet keeps showboating like this, he might get caught, he might get unlucky. And you can see Nir smiled there for a second. He, he certainly got his attention with that last combination. Yeah, definitely, Nir, Nir definitely has woken up and has been paying more attention, not showboating as much. Last combination by Nir, there, good roll. Van Alpea certainly staying in it in the last few seconds of round number two. Very nicely done by both these fighters. Round number two was a lot more was a lot more aggressive. Van Lark came out a lot more aggressive. Yeah, but he's understood that he can't be tentative. As a fighter, you can never hesitate. If you hesitate, you're putting yourself in arm's way. If you're gonna go for it, just go for it. Don't hold back. You can see he was far less, he respected his opponent's power and punches far less in round number two and really went for broke. It's a beautiful right hand, and that's the one that caught Neeraj's attention. Okay, we're getting to the start of the third round now. Both fighters looking good. Just one more round after this to go. And Neeraj Goyat has got a different look in his eyes after that round. I think he realizes that this kid is not going to be that easy to put away. Yeah, Val is not intimidated. The first round, it took him time to get used to that head movement. Here we go, round number three. Van comes out swinging again. Good combination. He's shift, switched it up now. He's going for the body. Because Goyet's head movement is so good, he's switching it to the body, which is good. Here's though, is looking a little frustrated here for a second. Yeah, you can see he's fighting more aggressively now. He got his hands up a little bit at least. Not showboarding as much. He's certainly taking him more seriously. As he realizes they only two. Oh, big left hook there. Very nice, nice very nice hook. Good counter. He's a great counter puncher. And his timing is perfection. Neil certainly taking it a lot more seriously now. Beautiful head movement there. Yeah, like I said, he's in the matrix right now. It's almost like he can see the punches before they're being thrown. He can read his mind. 
Well, you certainly didn't see that right hook that came in the last round. <laughs> but Van certainly making a fight out of it. Staying in that pocket. Neeraj now again, hands down. Trying to goad him into coming in. But like you said, he needs to be careful with his hands down. Right, I mean, look. Luck, luck can always favor the brave, but there's only so much luck you can take on your side. Eventually, skill, timing, and precision, they all add up. Goeth again looking for that counter as Van comes in swinging. There's good defense shown by Van Alpuya. Just a few of those jabs getting through the guard. Well, Goeth's not really doing too much. He's more of a counter puncher, so the defense shown by Van is pretty mediocre. Those punches, he's not even moving in. He's just throwing them from way outside. Goeth now. With his hands up, looking to set up a combination here as Van comes in. A nice shot to the body, beautifully done. Wow, look at that head that movement. Amazing. Man. He's just like bobbing and weaving. He's not even keeping his hands up. I think Van threw like seven punches that missed. Like completely. In the air. I would like to see Goyd attack now a little bit more. He's shown he's got great defense, but we would like to see some offense also. Good swears by Van there in that last exchange. Just got out of the way of those hooks. Van now coming over trying to stay in the pocket, but that head movement is just second to none. Both fighters now in the pocket pushing the pace. Neil certainly getting a lot more aggressive inside that pocket. Yeah, you can sense an urgency now, a sense of urgency from both fighters. They know that they don't want to go to the judges. They want to take it out of the judges' hands and try to secure the win with a TKO or a knockout. 10 seconds remaining in this third round and Van's got him against the Oh! He heard it! Wow! The second there you can see he had smile come back and trying to land a combination but that was crazy. Wow! What a great end to round number three. Well, that's, what, that's what you get for showboating too much. It, it does. I mean like luck will run out at some point. I'm not saying it's all complete luck, it's a lot of skill as well, but you should respect your opponent, keep your hands up, Absolutely. and not showboat so much. Absolutely, I need to, you need to see the last 10 seconds of round number two, because this round was, look at that head movement, that was crazy. We got out of the way of all of those, and like you said, Jason, this round, I see Van landing a couple of more Here we go, here's the last couple of seconds. This was it. And that was that big left hand that landed and that caught Goyat's attention. I guarantee he's going to be a different fighter in the fourth and final round. And you know what, Arjun? Let me remind the fans at home that this is a point system. So Goyat, as the captain, should know his team is down already three points. He shouldn't want to win this fight on points. He should try to win on a TKO or a knockout to set his team ahead and not just tie the game up. Here we go, fourth and final round. Goyat, the captain of the Haryana Warriors, taking on the debutant, Van Lal Puya from the Delhi Gladiators. And you know what, Jason, I'll be honest, I thought this fight was going to be a washout. I thought Neeraj was just going to come in and dominate. But Van certainly is holding his own and being aggressive against the cage. Oh, that's for sure. Valyan Puna has done a great job. If I was in New York's corner, I would actually tell his coach or someone to tell him that him showboarding and staying against the ropes is not exactly the most effective strategy here because Van is racking up some points here. Definitely. And like I said before, people need to realize, the, the fans at home, the fans in the stadium, people around the world, they need to realize that this is a point scoring system. So in order for the Haryana team to take the lead, their captain, Goyat, has to win by a TKO or a knockout. So the way he's fighting right now is really not helping his team at all. Beautiful roll there again. Nice combination by the captain. Staying a little more active now, but he needs to get a lot more active. Van again pushing the action. Beautiful left hook there by Van. Again, another right hook by Van. You can see he's starting to land. Yes, here. yes definitely. The, the tempo is changing. Goyat completely underestimated Van. Van's doing a great job of showing you that the underdog is never, never to be given a chance. You give him an inch and he'll take it. So far, Van's landed more than Goyat in the fourth and final round as he looks to be the aggressor, but now Goyat pushing him up against the ropes. Oh, look his, like his hand got caught in the ring there. 
I'm not sure if he hurt himself with that. That looked pretty bad. I did to check it out in the replay. I didn't get to look at that. He was now pushing the action here, trying to press him up against the ropes. The van staying right in front of him. Yeah, Van is pushing the action, definitely. He knows the momentum is swaying his way. He's got more confidence now. He's landed some Absolutely. few shots. His confidence back. Go ahead, look shook a little bit. His confidence is down. Have it, have and that's the beauty of a fight. One or two punches and can change the whole direction of the fight. Van looking to step in now. Land some combinations here. Good. Control by Go ahead. Step out of the range. And now takes the center again to control the action. You can see Go ahead being a lot more serious. No showboating in this round, but Van is landing strikes as well. No, Van has now got the, the game in his pocket. He's doing way better than the first few rounds. He's got his rhythm. It seems like he's got Goyet's number. Goyet's going to turn up the pace right now to do something spectacular to, to bring his team ahead and take to the victory. He's got 20 seconds to do it in because so far, Van is doing a great job. He came in. I think that third round was the momentum shifter. Definitely, definitely. All right, and that's the end. What a great fight as you wait for the judge's decision again. Neeraj Goyat from the Mariana Warriors took on Manalal Puya from the Delhi Gladiators. And what a great fight it was. Started off slow with Neeraj absolutely intimidating his opponent. But Van rallied back after the second, came in, started landing combinations of his own and got Goyat's respect. If anything, he's got his respect in this fight. Definitely, Arjun. Let's look at the replay now. Good combination, good counter. Van always staying there, landed a nice jab. Comes over with that right hand. Another right hand there against the ropes. It's a great showing by Van Alpuya. See there, that's where his hand got caught. Yeah. That's yep. exactly. I, I hope he didn't injure himself because that looked pretty painful. And after that happened, he started he started throwing fewer punches with his right yeah, hand. He was backing off a little more. It, you know, it's it's injuries are part of the sport, but sometimes it can. It can, it's, it can be really unfortunate in the middle of a fight. Right. No, that's very rare to happen. I've never seen that happen before. Freak accident. Great show of respect between both these fighters. Yep, good sportsmanship there by both fighters. As we await the results, we go to Jared Kyle. And gentlemen, after four rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards and they declare the winner by split decision from the red corner, Neeraj Goyat! Your winner, the captain of the Haryana Warriors, gets the job done, wins the decision, and gets the three valuable points, which puts both the teams level after two fights. Gets the three points, they're level now again, and we start at zero all over again. But what a great fight by both these fighters. Bangladesh certainly proved that.